What's going on YouTube? It's Saint and hey, I am willing to, you know, give the devil his due. In a video I made very recently, I said that Konami was, uh, I think I said, quote, a deeply unserious video game company. I stand by that. However, the Dead Cells Return to Castlevania expansion just came out. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. The, the, the song that you're hearing is from that expansion. Everything about it is beautiful. Now, do I think Kon Konami had a lot to do with that? Probably not. Probably no. Uh, probably all Motion Twin, I believe, is the developer of uh, Dead Cells. But that's all Konami has to do, is just license it out to people who like it and care about it, and they'll make you something good. And, and they did. Anyway, uh, I don't have much to talk about right now. Um, I know we're all waiting for the Elden Ring DLC. I'm not really making any new builds right now, because I'm currently playing Octopath Traveler 2 over on my Twitch stream. So I don't have much to talk about. However, it's hard for me to stream Octopath Traveler 2 because I keep having uh, power outages that lead to internet outages, uh, and then the power outage gets fixed, but then it takes an extra few days for the internet to get fixed. And this is just a recurring thing that is going on uh, where I live, and it sucks. Um, but I figured today I could, you know, hey, fun, cool invasion content for you to watch and for you to see. It's got a cool soundtrack behind it. And what can I talk about? I will tell you how to absolutely nickel and dime uh, your garbage-ass American internet service provider. So, your internet service provider is... I, I used to do this for a living. I know. I've had so many jobs. It's, it is what it is, okay? So, uh, but I used to do this. This used to be my job. I'm going to explain to you how to do it. You can save yourself some money. And, um, you know, you deserve to have more of your own money. So it, the way internet service providers work is the government, and it doesn't matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat, both of them do this because this is one of the things that actually matters, uh, giving multi-billion dollar corporations more money. Uh, so they're nonpartisan on this issue. Uh, you can fight the culture war elsewhere. Um, what they do is they give them a shit ton of money. They give these internet service providers a bunch of money, and uh, they say it's for, you know, uh, in bettering their infrastructure and so that they can get the internet out to more rural areas. Um, you will have noticed, probably, if you have an American internet service provider, that your service is always garbage because, uh, you know, they just use that money to buy another yacht uh, for all their CEO board members and stuff like that. Uh, but the way internet service providers work in America is, you know, you call and you say, Hi, I want service. They say, okay, here's your introductory rate, and they give you like a, a promotion, they give you a deal so that it's cheaper than it typically would be. And then after a year, uh, you know, your price goes up because that contract has expired. And that is by design. They, that is set up to work that way by design. So what is happening with me personally is I'm having these internet outages, right? So what I've done is I download the Comcast Xfinity app on my phone, and anytime my internet is acting up, I check that app and it will tell me if there is an internet outage in my area or not. If there is an internet outage, you call uh, Comcast or whoever your provider is, get them on the phone, talk to a real human being, just keep talking to the stupid robot until it puts a real human being on the phone, and explain to them the situation. And you can be as upfront about this as you want to. You can say, hey, uh, I haven't had service, there's an outage in my area, they can easily check that and make sure that it's accurate, and once they once they check it and make sure that it's accurate and that there is an outage, you can say, I would like my bill adjusted. I have not been getting the service I paid for, I would like for you to fix it. And uh, they will, you know, take uh, uh, some money off of what you will owe next month. And that's what I've been doing. I have done that five days out of the past seven out of the past week, out of the past seven days, five days, I've called Comcast to get my bill lowered. Uh, and it's to the point now where um, I don't owe them anything for this month because of all of these outages. And the more you are comfortable with, you know, talking to these people on the phone, the more you can get them to take off of your bill. Um, you know, they will just, no questions asked, like right off the bat, probably give you like six, seven, eight, nine dollars off for every day that you have issues but if you're comfortable talking to these people on the phone 
you can stay on the phone with them longer you can get more taken off your bill uh, and like I said five days worth of issues for me has resulted in a free month of internet where I'm not gonna pay my bill next month okay the other thing you can do to save yourself money and this goes back to the way that the internet service providers uh, are set up after one year your promotional rate has expired and your bill will go up and they want you to do this they want you to call in and ask why your bill has increased and so they can tell you your bill has increased because your promotional rate has expired let us put you on another promotion when you call and do this the person that you're talking to is in the sales department it is their job to upsell you on whatever you have we don't want to talk to that person so we're not going to call in and say we have questions don't do that. Call in and say that you are canceling your service. Just tell them straight up you want to cancel it. My dog is here. What's up, Bear? You being a good boy? Can I get a woof? Woof! Good boy. Good boy. Okay, go lay down. Go lay down. I'll get you a treat in just a minute, okay? Okay, sorry. So when we call in and we say, hey, um, I want to cancel my service, you don't go to sales. Instead, you go to retention. And their job is to do the same thing. They're going to try and upsell you. They're going to say, oh, I see your bill has increased. Uh, let me see if I can get that fixed for you. And the first offer that they will probably offer you is a better deal. It'll be cheaper, but they're going to give you more service than what you actually need. If you already have more service than what you actually need, you can still do this same thing. Call in and say you're going to cancel everything. And then... It, we know, like I said, they'll probably try and offer, you know, more than what you currently have for cheaper. Don't take that offer because once that contract expires, it's going to be more expensive than what you're paying right now. So if you've had your, if you've had the same provider for over a year, it's worth calling in to check and see if your promotional rate has expired. If it has, the retention department, because we're calling and we're saying we're canceling, uh, the retention department will try and offer you something better than what you currently have for cheaper. Uh, and we're not going to accept that offer. We're going to stay firm and we're going to say, look, I only need this service for, you know, whatever you currently have. This internet or this internet with this very small television package. Whatever you have. Say, those are the only things I need. And they will probably be able to find you uh, a better deal than what you are currently paying. They might put you on a new contract. If they put you on a new contract, usually it'll save you quite a bit of money, uh, and you'll get to keep the same level of service that you have. Uh, or they'll let you keep the same level of service that you have, and maybe it'll save you 10 bucks a month. But hey, that's 10 bucks. You know what I'm saying? That's 120 bucks over the course of a year. So that's at least something. Right. It's worth doing. I will preface, I guess this isn't a preface now. I will epilogue. I will post face. I will say, um, Spectrum sucks at this. If your internet provider is Spectrum, they will not help you at all. They're garbage. It's it's still worth trying, because you know, you might as well try. But don't expect anything. AT&T is very good about this. Uh, their retention department will give you like all kinds all kinds of deals and stuff like that. Comcast is hit or miss, but usually is pretty good. Google Fiber offers a low enough price that they're not gonna do this. They won't do this nonsense with you, which is good, honestly. They just, they don't charge you very much. They give you just the service you need. They don't try and upsell you on nothing. Uh, so they're not gonna mess with this. If you call Google Fiber and you're like, hey, I wanna cancel, they'll be like, okay. So don't do it to them. Um, the smaller internet service providers, they'll they'll do this, uh, but you should do it quickly before Spectrum buys them, because that's what Spectrum does. They just go around buying up all these smaller internet service providers and then making them worse. Uh, but yeah, it's worth a shot, and you can save yourself some money. You can save yourself anywhere. You know, it's like I used to do it for a living. I would do this for other people. Sometimes I would save them ten bucks a month. Sometimes I would save them fifty bucks for AT and T and stuff. Sometimes I could get them like a hundred. Uh, you know, a hundred dollar cheaper bill a month, a hundred dollars a month, but th those were few and far between. But anyway, it's worth doing, and it's something for me to talk about while you watch these invasions. Uh, yeah, so screw your internet service provider. They suck, they're a racket, uh, and they deserve worse than just being nickel and dimed. But that's what we can do, and so that's how you do it. Have a good one. Later, y'all.